Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just upon a smile Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world I'll always remember you like a child girl Hi, my name is Ray Rizzo. Today I'm going to talk a bit about the integrated masculine, the Sun King energy. In recent years, there's been a deep examination of all that men are and can be. We've been seeing cultures kind of tear down the patriarchy, and it's true, a lot has been wrong with the masculine energy for many, many years. But it's important to recognize that it's not just women, minorities, and the LGBTQ community that has suffered from the patriarchy. It's also men. The food that falls down from the sacred tree has been poisoned and rotten for a long time. And now there's a call to a new generation of men who identify as such to connect with the deeper essence of what is the sacred and profound integrated masculine principle. As human beings, we tend to generalize and often we think that all masculinity is toxic masculinity. And as a result, the men that wish to distance themselves from this old world paradigm of control, dominance, and tyranny often completely disconnect from the depth and beauty of the masculine principle, which is alive too, and is part of the diverse tapestry of multiculturalism. In my new book, Sun King, and in my work leading men's groups around the world, my goal is to help men reconnect to the healthy masculinity that is buried beneath the junk pile of all that has been perceived as toxic and destructive about the masculine and patriarchal world. This work, and the reason I chose to uh, sing a bit from the song, Wild World by Cat Stevens, the work men need to do is to get to the depth of their wild man. And the wild man is not simply destructive, crazy, into the wild, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. No, the wild man is a connection to the depth of the male principle. It's beyond the sphere of masculine and feminine. It goes into the cosmic, deep understanding of all that a man is and can be. The inspiration for this book came from a book called Iron John by Robert Bly. In Iron John, we find a deep, hairy, red Iron Man buried in a pond outside of the kingdom. He's been destructive and many people are scared to leave the kingdom because they know if they go out there, they may be consumed by this wild energy. In a similar way, many modern men stay far away from all that is masculine because they're afraid to be one of them but in the process, they lose a connection to their deep inner vitality. In our story of Iron John, a hero comes and he brings the men to the edge of the dark wood and they empty out the pond, bucket by bucket, bit by bit. We'll notice in this story, they don't have dynamite, they don't have a bulldozer, they don't have a giant hose to empty the pond. They have to do it bucket by bucket. And this is symbolic of the deep inner work that men who wish to integrate and men who wish to connect to healthy masculinity must do step by step, examining their psyches, sifting through the junk pile of toxic masculinity to reconnect with the healthy aspects of the masculine as they connect to strength and vulnerability and balance their feminine and masculine sides in order to be part of the beautiful tapestry and symphony of multiculturalism, connecting each voice being heard and sharing what they do best. This is the subject of my new book, Sun King, and if you're interested, we can talk more about the aspects of the integrated masculine in culture, workplace, and relationship. Thank you. My name is Ray Rizal.